when you're looking through the microscope, when you're actually you've got your eye there and you're trying to see something, you're going to basically see this ginormous white circle. Okay? This white circle is known as your field of view. And just like in other experiments, when you have to report your results, you're going to draw whatever you see in your field of view at whichever power you're being asked to draw it at. That becomes your microscope drawings, okay, that's also known as microscopy, becomes your actual result section in your lab. So if I look at my field of view here, I am going to see something, okay? And chances are when you first turn it on, you're not going to see anything because the stage of the microscope, right, the stage is going to be at its lowest most point. And it should be at its lowest most point when you put a slide on the microscope because you don't want to bang the slide into the objectives and you don't want to break your objectives because if you break the objectives, yikes, you break the microscope. So you're going to put your actual slide onto the uh, stage. So there it is. And it's going to be in its stage clips. And then you're going to actually use, and I mean, I'm going to try and sort of draw what a microscope would look like. So here I've drawn your coarse adjustment knob and your fine adjustment knob. And we'll actually draw in the, the actual um, objectives. So I've drawn in a low, a medium, and a high. And you'll notice that the low is the one that's actually pointing straight down. So right here. Okay, it's, let's assume that that's a really awesome drawing and it's locked in place. So in this case, you're probably not going to see a thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn, and I'm not sure if it's to the left or to the right, you'll figure it out. You're going to turn your course adjustment, and this is going to bring the stage up. Okay, so what I mean by that is as you're turning it, the stage is going to get closer. And look at how close that is to the actual high-powered objective. Okay, and at that point, your microscope is, you're going to see a sharp image. If you have centered whatever you're looking for into the middle of the little circle of light that you see without looking at the microscope, Okay, kind of looking to the side and seeing where the actual light is coming from and you've centered your specimen there, your image will come into focus. And microscopes are what we call parfocal, which means they always center from the centermost point of the actual field of view. Okay, so if the field of view under low power is the largest... Okay, and I'm not going to tell you what it is because you're going to figure it out in one of your labs. Now, when I say that a microscope is parfocal, the medium field of view actually zooms in a little bit. So you're bringing the stage up with the course adjustment. Once you see your sharp image, then you actually turn your revolving nose piece. This is going to be really crudely drawn, but I'm going to try and swap this places so that my high power is there. And you're going to notice that my, or my medium power, sorry. And you're going to notice that I'm a lot closer to the actual image. Let's put this right in the center. There you go. Now, what, what is actually happening here, when you look through the microscope, you're going to see that that white circle of light is still there. And it still looks like it's the same sort of size. Now, what actually ends up happening at medium power, it's a relatively smaller circle. And what it's doing is it's stretching it out. You know how I can actually go to an image and I can press my fingers apart like this? And if you look at this video, oh, look, I've just, I've just made it four times bigger. Okay, well, that's exactly what the field of view is doing. It's kind of, it's, it's, it's making it bigger by kind of spreading it out a little bit more. So uh, on the red here, that is our medium power. And if we look at how close 
the medium power objective is to the actual stage, we cannot use our course adjustment here. Because if we do, we'll push the stage up and we'll crack the actual bottom, okay? This part right here will crack the actual lens of the objective, and that's not good. Which is why we have to use our fine adjustment on medium power. Because the fine adjustment just incrementally raises the stage so small that you can't see it with the naked eye. And then because the microscope is parfocal, and write that word out, that means that if you centered your object on low power, if you made sure that your object was right here, let's say, okay, right as close to the center as possible, then automatically when you turn your revolving nose piece to medium power, medium power, the center of the medium power field of view will also be the same center. So you'll just see a really big version of your image. So as soon as you're on medium power, okay, when you get to medium power, you're going to want to use fine adjustment, the little knob right here. And you're going to turn it, and if you see that the image doesn't sharpen one way, then backtrack and turn it the other way. And the image should become, it might be a little fuzzier because it's super zoomed in, but it will actually get sharp, okay? Once that's done, once you actually have your image zoomed in and focused at medium power, then you must again turn the revolving nose piece to high power. So we're going to turn our nose piece, and I hope I got it all here. And now this would actually just fit into place, but look at they're practically touching. Okay, they're practically touching. They're not, but man oh man, they're awfully close. You couldn't even fit a piece of paper in there. That's how close they are. So just like the idea of parfocal from low power to medium power exists, if you've centered that object under low power, well, the high-powered field of view is even smaller. And it will zoom in on the actual center as well. Okay, so if I take this and I, what it's doing is it's making it way bigger, okay? So here, I'm at like six times larger. I can't get any bigger. I'm going to make this nice and small and go back to where I was. But what ends up happening if you do that your field of view here is tiny, 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 and the center is still in the middle. So high-powered field of view, if you can't use course adjustment on, on medium power, then for sure you cannot use it under medium power, or high power. You must use your fine adjustment, okay? And you're going to just sharpen the image, all right? So this is how you actually use the microscope. Now, let's talk about magnification. We know that the magnification of, the total magnification of an image is the actual ocular power, which in our case is 10, but it's not always 10, multiplied by the objective power. When you, and you have to actually, when you make a microscope drawing, okay, so here's my field of view. Now let's say I'm looking at human hair, all right, and I'm going to draw what I see. You do not need to be an artist, but you also, stick men don't work here. When you're actually drawing something, you're going to use pencil, and you're going to actually draw what you see, okay? If it's got jagged edges, and let's say it's got different parts to it. Okay, let's say you see some kind of scale there, and I wish I actually had access to different things here because I might put in a little shading if there is. Okay, I might try to make that as nice as I can. You do not need to be an artist here. But your drawing should never go outside the field of view. Okay, because in reality, you don't see anything outside the field of view. And every, every, every drawing must have a title. 
The title always goes at the bottom and then the total magnification. So this means that you can't just stick these guys anywhere. You can't just say, oh yeah, I forgot. I'm just going to mark that. Uh, give me a second here. I'm just going to shove this over here and I'm going to put it on the side here. I'm just going to add it. Nope, you cannot do that. Okay? So what ends up happening here is, well, this is hair, so I'm going to call it hair. I'm going to say, okay, this is a hair, and its total magnification, if it's at high power, is 400x. Because we remember that it's ocular times objective power. That's a W. And that equals total magnification.